Today, we're gonna to build the 1980s Michael Keaton Batmobile using 20 Lego pieces. These are all the pieces you are going to need. In the description of this video, I left the piece names, count, and design IDs. We're gonna start with this one by six plate piece. And on the back three studs, this long plate, I'm gonna grab a two by three wedge plate. I'm gonna put it to the two by three wedge plate. The small end goes on the center, and then it flat ends on the bottom, it goes up and then slopes down back to the center. There's gonna be like those back fins of the Batmobile. Now on the next stud, I'm gonna grab a cheese wedge slope. And I'm gonna put it to the thin end of that cheese wedge slope is near the wedge plate, and then it slopes up to the center. And our next stud, I'm gonna get a one by one plate, put that down, and it, when I put it down, you're gonna see it's not quite as high as that slope piece. So I'm gonna get a one by one tile piece, and now it's nice and smooth. By putting that one by one tile on our one by one plate, we get a nice smooth curve. And now I'm gonna get one more cheese wedge slope, put the fat end of the cheese wedge slope near those plates, and have it slope down to the front. And then we've got the side of our Batmobile. Now we're gonna do that two times in a mirror build. So the exact same thing, but just in the opposite direction for both sides of our Batmobile. But to save time so you can get building instead of watching, I've already built that for us. So the next thing we're gonna do is the center of our Batmobile. And for that, we're gonna start with this two, one by two by two third brick with that kind of ugly end here. And this is gonna be the back of our Batmobile where the fire shoots out when Batman hits the gas and it just speeds through Gotham to get away or towards the emergency. And so once we've got that back, we've got the front stud. On that front stud, I'm gonna grab a headlight brick. And I'm gonna put the headlight brick so that that stud and the headlight brick is facing up. And then to get that rounded kind of um, rounded hood look of the original 1980s Batmobile, I shouldn't say original because in 1980s uh, with Michael Keaton, we're gonna get this one by one round brick. I'm gonna put that one by one round brick right on my um, headlight brick here to kind of extend it out. And then if you look at the front of the Batmobile, it's got like that little like wind turbine in the front. And to create that little knob there, I'm gonna grab a one by one tile with pin on top and just put that tile onto my one by one brick and I've got the front of my Batmobile. And now the next thing we're gonna do is kind of build it up. And for the windshield on my headlight brick, my windshield's gonna go on my headlight brick. I'm gonna get another one of those cheese wedge slopes, but in translucent black. That's right, changing it from black to translucent black. And put the thin end in front and then it slopes up to create the windshield of the Batmobile. And then to do the back end where they all sit and the gadgets are being stored, I'm gonna grab a one by two plate piece. And that's just gonna kind of build up my bricks. So I'm gonna put that one by two plate piece on the top of my one by two by two third brick to kind of like even it out here. And then to smooth it out, make it look more aerodynamic, I'm gonna grab a one by one half circle extended tile piece and have that rounded end go near the cockpit on that front stud and the flat end is in the center of my one by two plate. And then I'm gonna grab a two by one curved slope piece and put that curved slope piece so that we're on the back stud and it kind of slopes down and over that back exhaust um, port that we have in the back for our big flames of this Batmobile. And then all we have left to do is put on our sides. So we just match our sides so that the fin is in the back. We line up our plate and it should be about the same size as our center Batmobile. Click it on like this. Do that to both sides, You're just kind of skipping one stud there, anti-stud, putting it on. And here's our Tim Burton 1980s Batmobile for Michael Keaton to drive around. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.